Today, ang pag-usapan naman natin ngayon ay tungkol sa computing the mean and the variance of a discrete probability distribution. So, let's have the uh, definition. So, the, the mean of the discrete random variable x is the weighted average of the possible values that the random variable can take. So, ito yung magiging uh, weighted average. No? The mean is a weighted average of the variable x. So, later, you will understand paano siya makukuha. Then, the standard deviation is the standard deviation is the measure how spread out the number R. So, its symbol is uh, the Greek letter sigma. So, the formula is easy. It is the square root of T variance. So, you have the question, oh, what is a D variance? So, later, we will have the uh, definition on that. So, standard deviation, ito yung tinatawag natin na uh, standard deviation. So, from 0 to 1. So, that is one standard deviation or from 0 to 2 or 0 to 3 or 1, one to 2 or one, 2 to 3. So, those are the standard uh, deviations. So, organo siya kalayo doon sa mean. So, yung yun, yun, tinatawag na spread out numbers are. So, organo siya kalayo. So, the variance is the defined as the average of the square difference from the mean. So, the formula for the variance is uh, sigma squared is equal to the summation of x squared times p of x minus the u squared. So, this is the formula for the variance. So, just variance. Then, the u, mu, rather, not u. It's mu that is a mean. So, let's have the example on how to get for the the mean and the, the variance and also the standard deviation so we have here the the number of heads so when the three coins are tossed the probability distribution for the random variable x representing the number of tails that of course is given below uh, later so compute the variance and standard deviation of the probability di distribution so given natin is three coins are tossed so, ang coins, na, ang coins naman natin ay mayroong head and mayroong ding tail. So, pag tinos siya, ganito siya. Kakaroon tayo ng 8 samples. Bakit siya 8? Kasi, ang ating coin ay may dalawang faces lang. Isang head at saka isang tail. So, sa tatlong coin natin, meron siyang makukuhang uh, tatlong tail possible na dalawang tail isang H kapag tinos natin so bakit siya 8? kasi we have here 2 to the 3 ang 2 to the 3 natin ay 8 samples so that's why 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so sa isang toss pwede tayong makakuha ng dalawang tail, isang head isang head, dalawang tail dalawang head, dalawang tail dalawang head isang tail. So, isang tail, dalawang head, or tatlong head. Then, kunin natin yung kanyang values the random variable y, the number of tails. So, ito yung from here, i-arrange lang natin siya dito. Then, ang pinag-usapan natin dito is yung uh, number of tails. So, dito, naging 3 kasi tatlo siya. Dito, dalawa kasi dalawa lang yung t. Dito, dalawa din. Dito, dalawa din. Dito, isa kasi isa lang yung t. Ito, isa din, isa din. Tapos dito, zero. Kasi walang letter T or tail na lumabas. Then, after that, kunin mo siya, the possible values of the random variable Y are 0, 1, 2, 3. Bakit 0, 1, 2, 3? 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, isusulat lang siya ng isang beses. Then, find the mean of the probability distribution using the formula mu is equal to the summation of x times px. So, from previous kanina, number of tails. So, correction, this is tails. Pwede din namang head. Kasi pares ang naman sila ng result kung head and tail. Kung tatlong, ah, uh, Kung tatlong coins yung pinag-usapan natin, they are the same. So, meron tayo dito 0, 1, 2, and 3. The probability of x or p of x is 1 over 8. So, bakit siya 1 over 8? Kasi, ang um, sample space natin kanina, or yung sample, ah, uh, yes, the sample space is 8. So, over 8 siya. 
So, bakit siya 1? Kasi, isa lang yung 0. Out of 8, isa ang 0. Next is 3 over 8. Kasi, out of 8, ilan ang 1? Tatlo. Next is 2. 3 over 8. So, bakit siya 3? Kasi, out of 8, tatlo yung 2. Then, 3 is 1 over 8. Kasi, out of 8, iisa lang ang 3. Then, x times px. So, ito yung x natin. Ito yung px. So, ibig sabihin, multiply, na, multiply. 0 times 1 over 8 is 0. 1 times 3 over 8 is 3 over 8. 2 times 3 over 8 is 6 over 8. And 3 times 1 over 8 is 3 over 8. Now, pag sinimplify natin itong 6 over 8, this will be 2 over 3. Kung sa calculator siya. That will be uh, 2 over 3. It's 2 over 4. No, it's divisible by 2. So, it's 3 over 4. So, that's 3 over 4. So, kunin natin daw yung the mu is equal to the summation of your x times px. So, ibig sabihin, itong symbol na to is considered as we have to add. So, pag itad natin itong 0 plus 3 over 8 plus 6 over 8 plus 3 over 8, the answer will be 12 over 8 is equal to 1.5. The step number 2 is multiply the square of the value of the uh, random variable x by its corresponding probability. So, this table, ito galing siya kanina doon sa previous, extend lang natin from the x squared times px. So, x squared ibig sabihin mo, i-squared natin yung value ng x dito. So, therefore, we have here 0 squared, 1 squared, 2 squared, and 3 squared. Ito ay galing sa, dito sa x. Now, pag, pwede natin siya, i-squared natin. So, 0 squared times 1 over 8 is still 0. Then, 1 squared, 1 squared is 1, times 3 over 8 is still 3 over 8. Then, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3, this is 12 over 8. Then, 3 squared is 9 times 1. So, magkaroon tayo ng 9 over 8. Then, after that is, uh, step number 3 is get the sum of the result obtained in the step number 2. So, again, it's from the previous table. Tapos, kukunin, i-add natin itong 0, 3 over 8, 12 over 8, and 9 over 8. So, pag in natin siya, Tayo ng 24 over 8 is equal to 3. Then, for the number 4, subtract the square of the mean from the result obtained in the step number 3. Then, get the variance. So, the formula for the variance of the probability distribution is given by the sigma squared is equal to summation of your x squared times px minus the mu squared. So, yung mean natin dito is yung mu. Ang value ng mu natin kanina is 1.5. Sa substitute lang. So, this is the x squared times px. Ang value nito kanina from the previous is ito yung 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. That's why this is 3 minus ang galing 1.5. Then, galing to sa step number 1 which is the value of your u or mu. That's 1.5. So, 3 minus 1.5 squared. So, squared muna natin to. Tapos, 3 minus the squared of the given. The answer will be 0 0.75. Now, to get for the standard deviation, we have to get the square root of the given. Or, kunin na natin yung square root ng 0 0.75 in short. So, the standard deviation is equal to 0 0.87 as the standard deviation. So, that's all. The how to compute for the the mean and the variance and also the standard deviation of the discrete probability distribution.